Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can extract the text information from any Word file or docx file without using any premium connector or any AI model using Power Automate. I'm having one Word file in my OneDrive, that is this one. And as Word files, the docx files are in turn itself zip files. If we extract these files, for example, you could see like uh, post extraction of any docx file we have multiple folders word doc doc props custom xml rels so these in turn docx in turn is works like a zip file so what we are going to do we are going to read the document.xml part of this extraction file and then in turn we are going to extract the plain information out of any document so using Power Automate, we are going to automate this process of extraction of the plain text. And over here, I'm just going to create one simple flow and I'll create an instant cloud flow. And we are going to use manual trigger for our demo purpose. And as a first step, as I said, docx file itself is a zip file. So we need to extract the content out of this docx file. So for that, we are going to use extract action, extract archive to folder, and over here we are going to define the path so for path we are going to just pick any of the file and we'll actually rename that to our actual file or the path folder so right now it's in my root so if you look at my this document the docx file it's in root so i am going to rename it because by default it only allows to select the zip files so we are going to rename the stuff or the file which we are going to use so i'll just say remove everything this is my file name and as an extracted where it should extract so i'll just pick one of my folder so it should extract over here and it should override the extraction whenever it's done so once you save it and run it you will find your extracted files or this docx would be extracted inside this folder where the folder which we have specified so once this action executed, you will see in the output, we are getting this array of information. And if I scroll down or you can search for document.xml, the name of that array which specify. So this is not the exact file which we are looking. It's a document.xml file. This part we are looking for and will be extracting the ID of this array item so that we can in turn use it to pass on to read the content of this document.xml. So what I'll do, I'll just use my data operation. I'll just edit it, use filter array operation. And in this filter array, I'll just use the input from my previous tab as body. And in once I'll just write on, uh, attribute i'm expecting so i'll just copy this attribute which is name of my file so i want to filter this array based on my property as name and property name should be matching document.xml so that i can get id out of it and in turn i will use that id to get the file content so in next step we are going to use get file content and in this we are going to pass file ID as the extracted ID from previous step. So I'll use, I'll go to expression and I'll copy this first body filter array ID, which we get from our previous step as an expression. Okay. And this will give us the file and how to extract the content out of the file. We have to again, use our data operation compose. So I'll just use one compose operation and in this compose operation we are going to write the x path so if you see this last step x path xml output of my previous get file content body and we are actually making a this attribute comparison is starting with w colon t and give the text so it will give the plain text out of our previous file so i'm just copying this one and passing that as an input to my compose as an expression and we are going to save it and now we are going to do a test run so 
So we got our extracted archive folder, filter array, and in get file content in filter array, we got the ID. And in get file content, we are passing that ID to get the file. And in compose, we are in turn getting the output of my document.xml into this plain text. So this is the same plain text which my file originally has. And we got that extracted using Power Automate without using any custom premium connector or any AI model. So there's a plain or traditional way of working with XPath to read out any XML file because word files are in turn extracted and be extracted as a .xml files. So that is it for today's video. So if you wish to use this way of extracting any plain text out of word file, you can try this way. Thank you for watching it.